Joe Frazier, smoking Joe Frazier. How you doing, champ? You may all, uh, let's say, uh, smoking Joe Frazier, sharp as real, flows like a butterfly, same like the bee. I'm the man who beat up Muhammad Ali. <laughs> you gotta love it. You're smoking, <laughs> smoking Joe Frazier's. <laughs> so you're the man who beat up Muhammad Ali. Yeah, let's um, let's talk about that. I'm, I'm sure you're asked many times in the past. You know, what was it like? You know, what what is it like um, being in uh, one of the most recognizable athletes on the planet um, uh, uh, and having such a lustrous awesome career oh man well let's, let's go way back you know uh i've been out here since i was a little young boy i had family let's say close by i know they went for they can go when they went to let's say uh uh tokyo no miami miami would be the, the next place that they couldn't go no further when you go right to the cuban <laughs> Once you leave Miami water, you got to go to Cuba. I've been over there also. But therefore, you know, it's been good coming down, man. And uh, I didn't have to get a suntan. Yeah. I didn't need one of them. So uh, being with the people, and say, let's say, I can't remember all the guys, but, but back like Patterson and uh, let's say Sonny Liston and let's say all them great guys, man, you know, they all were down there in Florida. So therefore, being here and let's say going way back and Seeing the fine people, man, and see with, see with love. You know how you spell love? You spell, how you spell love? L-O-V-E. M-O-N-E-Y. M-O-N-E-Y, he says. Well, let me ask you also, um, so what do you do, what do you do with your time now, and where are you staying now? Where do you live? Do you still live in Philadelphia, or do you live here in Florida? Where do you stay now? The, the time, let's say, I live all over the world. Every place I go is my home. Because let's say once I was a champion, I was a champion of the world. So therefore, I had to respect all, all the people in the world because that's represent the world. And I had good people all over the world, man. You know, it's always good to know that you can go places and be accepted by people, man. And I really love that. That's great to hear, you know. You, that's a wonderful way to put it, Joe. I will tell you that. You know, you were a world champion. And you are the former heavyweight champ of the world so therefore your home is all over the world that's a great way to put it i really like that so let me ask you what do you do with your time do you um you you you, you go out to movies with the ladies do you, do you just relax what time <laughs> so that means that you're very busy these days i ain't got no time is my time my time belongs to the world let's say and the good man above have given that energy and that spirit and that know-how and let's say I had a hundred fights, just like the rest of those guys, you know. But therefore, I live a little different when I went to training camp. You know, I put the, the I put the drinking, I put the ladies, I put the candy, <laughs> I put the food, and I pay attention to the manager and the trainer to get the job done. Well, that's great to hear, Smoking Joe. I'm I'm going to tell you what it was a pleasure sitting here with you and meeting with you, and may God bless you and continued health. It's always good, man, to talk to guys like you because you know what you're talking about, you know what you're saying, and I appreciate that. Thank you very much.